Roy, could you see the fall? Yeah, I'm not going to hear you. At the outset, uh, can I state that recent events uh, in the USA are very sad and very disturbing. Uh, both I and my party condemn discrimination and racism of any kind. And can I also say that people must have the right to protest peacefully and the use of violence and force must be condemned. Governments at all times must act democratically and in the best interests of all its people. I have a couple of questions, uh, Tanishtha, uh, just to take up your um, the points you made in your speech there towards the end, the passport services. Uh, according to the Department of Foreign Affairs website, uh, public offices dealing with provision uh, of passport services are closed until further notice. Applicants can apply on nine, but applicants won't be processed until normal services are resumed. Uh, the post office facility is not operational. Uh, the phone lines are closed. Uh, but the website does say that a, a genuine emergency cases can be dealt with uh, using uh, web chat services. Uh, Thonis, uh, you have outlined when normal uh, uh, passport uh, services will resume. Uh, will there be a backlog of passport applications? Uh, do you have any figures as to how many passport applications are awaiting processing? And will additional resources be given to the passport services uh, to deal with inevitable uh, backlogs of passport uh, applications? So a couple of questions there in relation to passport services. I'd also like to um, raise uh, an EU matter at this point, if I may, in relation to the multi-annual financial framework 2021-2027 uh, and the EU Commission's uh, proposals in relation to a recovery uh, for the uh, EU economy, 750 billion fund, uh, including uh, 500, million in, uh, 500 billion in grants and 250 uh, billion in loans. Uh, Ireland is set to receive 1.9 billion from this package. Uh, the EU will be borrowing uh, the money. Uh, this is an unprecedented uh, response uh, by the EU, uh, uh, but the borrowing will have to be paid back eventually. Uh, and suggestions uh, for this uh, include uh, climate change taxes, plastic taxes, uh, digital sales tax. Uh, the latter, of course, would have implications for uh, Google and uh, Facebook. Um, is the package, Tánish, is it likely to be agreed by the European Council? Uh, what is the Irish uh, position uh, on it? Uh, will, we have an will we have to increase our contributions uh, to the EU uh, down the line to pay for it? And what own resources uh, would Ireland consider uh, in this context? Uh, and finally, is our uh, corporate tax rate uh, under threat uh, in this regard? And just to conclude then, uh, could I also um, uh, welcome what the Tony had to say in relation to the uh, repatriation uh, of Irish citizens uh, and also to pay tribute to our embassies and consulates overseas who have done uh, Trojan work. I know from my own experience in my own constituency uh, of the work that they have done. Could I just ask a specific question in relation to the Canary Islands? Um, are, are there many Irish citizens uh, in the Canary Islands trying to get home? I understand that some of them are in, are, are in uh, poor health. Uh, and I'd just be interested because obviously it's such a popular uh, destination for, for Irish citizens. Thank you. Do you want me to come back? Thanks. Um, but first of all, thank you, Deputy. And can I, can I join you? And I'm sure it's re reflected uh, across this House um, in, in condemning racism in all of its forms. Um, I think many of us are, are pretty disturbed and shocked by the images we're seeing uh, coming out of the United States now for, I think it's for the eighth, eighth day in a row. Um, uh, and um, what everybody wants to ensure uh, is that peaceful protest is part of any democracy, uh, as well as um, uh, the need for robust and independent journalism. Um, but violence is not the way uh, to bring about change here. Um, uh, and um, uh, what's needed is leadership uh, at a community level and at a political level. Um, um, but um, the, um, the undercurrent uh, of, of anger uh, and discontent um, that clearly uh, has come from uh, concerns uh, around racism uh, and discrimination uh, uh, has uh, created a, a huge wave uh, of protest, some of it violent, 
across U.S. cities. Um, it's most unsatisfactory, but I have to stop you because there are three. Perhaps take note of my questions. I may be issue with issuing with written replies in due course. Yeah. Sorry, no, you've asked that.